I'm going to show you to open these two locked doors in the Great Hall. So this one, I don't know if it'll look the same as my map. It doesn't really matter. But my doors are open, obviously. But yours will be closed, okay? So in order to do that, what you're going to do is once you get to this part of the Great Hall, in the back of the kitchen, I've already grabbed it. There's an item back here. You can't miss it. It'll be glowing red and all that. Then what you'll do is you'll go back to the beginning of this place or wherever you went in this place. Uh, here it is. The big open area. You can obviously see the big rectangle right there. Um, that was right near the start in my version of this, and that is like a banquet hall. You'll go there, and you can just put the item into the door, and it'll open up the door and let you into there. And once you get into there, there'll be a dialogue with some guy behind a, a desk, or behind a banquet table. And then you, um, you just eat one of the pieces of food, and it'll start a boss fight. And then you gotta survive that fight, and you gotta eat pieces of food to heal during the fight, or you'll run out of HP unless you're a medic. And then if you survive the fight and beat the fight, then you talk to me and it gives you an item. But the more important thing is after that boss fight, that room is unlocked. And that's where we get something really interesting. So there's going to be these. And these are how we get into the secret rooms. These are the little elevators that you can use. And both of them connect at the back of the banquet hall. So once you've defeated the boss, in the boss fight in the banquet hall, then right behind that guy, there's the two elevators. And one leads to a one of the locked rooms. And the other one leads to the other locked room. There's the other one. Be careful though, you go down there, there's gonna be one of the big melee mini bosses in each one. And you'll have to find them like point blank basically. And then after that, you open the door from the inside, and there'll be a little bit of treasure in each one. There's a chest. Well, in my case, there was a chest in one, I think a ring in the other one. Or no, a weapon in the other one. I actually remember the other one was uh the bone chopper, was what was in the other one. And then the other one had a chest with some generic stuff in it. So that's it, guys. Just a quick explanation of how to do it. So if you're wondering how to open up those locked doors in the Great Hall, that's how to do that in Remnant 2.